we need one of those memes that's like, guys only want one thing and it's... All right, welcome back, guys. Today we are doing a tier list uh, with my boy, Zach Talender. For those who don't know, tier lists are just a meme thing. There is no rhyme or reason really behind them. And we're going to rate and rank weightlifters based on basically nothing. Okay, so for those of you who want to know why we have these such a random array of weightlifters or people, in fact, uh, I just put it up on the Weightlift House Patreon and people selected it. So if you have like ideas as to uh, genres or categories like Chinese weightlifters or 80s weightlifters that you want us to do in the future, let us know down below and I'm sure I can get Zach on. We got to get Owen on as well from Seeker. <laughs> I don't know what sus is going to be. Like, I don't know who's going to go in it. I don't know what we're going to... Let's just let uh, it come to us. It as. It's going to come to us. And I'm going to be fast too. I already know. He, I'm, he, I'm going elite with um, Adam Malgov. You're going elite? Sh- elite, yes. Like so, when I tell you he is one of my favorite weightlifters of all time, that is him. I'm not kidding you. I've consumed so much Adam Malagov content. This is my own personal obsession, so I'm going to put him as elite. Okay, that's, 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 that's fine basically I'm actually glad you've done that because like, I would put him as probably A group, but I'm well, glad that you're just going in with elite. No, 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 because yeah. that means that people aren't going to come at me now if someone's in the wrong category because we're already just going it's by not, fear. We're shooting yeah. the hip. Yeah, it's uh, it's purely. This is purely a uh, bias, an emotional bias on my. I have an emotional attachment to Adam Malagov's lifting, just like a lot of people have an emotional attachment to. Um, who's the other guy? Uh, God, I can't even think of his name. Uh, Opti, Opti Alkadov. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, people mm-hmm. have emotional attachment to his lifting. Okay, we're gonna stick with Russia. Uh, we got Kazimir Akayev, uh, okay, who famously beat Klokov in 2011. You go first. Um, I, so maybe people will call me out. And, so t- training lifts, he's one of the greatest athletes ever. Like 210, 245 yep. is like what? If, I think if he did that in competition, I worked out, he'd be like number five Sinclair ever. What was his body weight though at those lifts? Had to have been like near two, 115. It can't be. I mean, he's yeah, a 105 probably. at the time, but there's no way. Yeah. But that obviously that doesn't minimize anything. But if you think about, I mean, damn, I just did a video on Vyacheslav Klokov where you commented right. where he did a jerk from the rack with 275 or something you yeah, know yeah, it's like yeah, it's ridiculous but he's only won one world championship okay he's won one europeans and then he's medaled he took a silver in the olympics and so for that reason i'm not going to put him elite i would personally put him at a group here's where i'm going to disagree with you Seb. there's okay. a video of kazimura uh, kazimura akayev in the streets of Russia, shooting off an AK-47. Yeah, yeah doing donuts in, in the like just the middle of a Russian square. For that reason, I'm gonna have to put him at elite. For that reason, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, or sus. Or it's sus. To be like, with you. I can I have to. There's no, you know, it's wherever you you put him. I'm just gonna give him a boost because of that video. That's it. Okay. Klokov said that like he would come, in, like Dmitri would come in, and he'd spend like an hour warming up and stuff. And apparently, before he got to the bar. Uh, Akai would have finished his workout, and he just hated Akai because like Akai didn't train and just beat him. And Klokov put in so much work. So okay, just, are you he's kidding elite, me? He's, he's gotta be elite. After he's gotta be elite. Shit like that. Alexiev, he's just going straight to goated. Yeah, eighty-one world records. Rumor has it he was a bit of a dick, like he just wasn't that nice a guy. But you know, he's just how could he not be goated? Yeah, he's like the most. Yeah, you know, he was on Sports Illustrated, which. Might I add, were you in something pretty famous recently today? We'll yeah, talk about that soon because we've got that guy coming up. Yeah, I was in men's health today. No, I, I agree. Goated too. Also, um, one of the guys my grandpa used to talk about. So it's like that's cool. So yeah. I, I, you know, that him and um, Paul Anderson. Well, he my, was one of weightlifting's first like superstars, like around the globe. Right. You know I what mean, I mean? Like he's a big deal. Uh, okay, next we have Andre Rybakov. So for those who don't know, one of the best snatches ever. <clears throat> Not a good cleaner jerker. In fact, wait, he did, so he did 187 snatch, 85, which is unreal. Best cleaning jerk was like 205, something in and around there. He, I mean, which led to the phrase doing a Rybakov, which is basically snatching your cleaner jerk. Right. And so like, I'm actually leaning towards sus just for that reason. I'm going to put him at A group. So maybe we meet in the middle and go B group. Go B. At that point, how frustrated would you be to be his coach i know i just can't imagine i would lose my mind okay dang way can we not mess about and just can we just stick and go to uh you know what she's she's actually not got a top five sinclair ever on the women's side yeah i would put her in elite 
for that reason. Yeah, there but is actually, yeah, you could actually go for elite there, I think. I love where my mind goes when I see these lifters and hear them. I'm like, I, I, I go silent and I'm just like, who's better, who's worse, where does she fit? It's like, it's a cool little process. Can we like, can we change the order? Yes. So I'm going to do it like this, the further left, the yeah. better. Yeah, I, feel I like, like that. I like that order. You know I, mean? I like that yeah. order a lot. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, goaded. <laughs> okay, you know him, do you? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm making a video on him very soon. Okay, Brian Drescher. I, I have made goated. a video on him before. Is that where you learned of him? My, no. My, he's just like a massive, like, everyone on Patreon loves him. Whenever we talk, yeah, because... We just always talk about him. Bro, I, 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 because I did a podcast... What, I think it was my first episode of, of Training Make Podcast, which we, we don't do anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so Brian Drescher, goaded, no question. If you All see, right. if you watch his competition, if you watch the way that this man acts, it's it's goaded. It's 100% goaded. Say? Just, after every left, he says, in, in your face. Yeah, in your face. Uh, it's hilarious. Biggest, yeah. like, the most flexion in the spine I've ever seen. Like, it's impressive. Okay, there is a video of him doing 130. Uh, power snatch 130 in the 80s or not or like early 90s or something and it's fucking huh. awesome he was jacked bro he was i could believe that yeah and now his yeah. youtube i mean i'm gonna do a video there's no question uh okay we've got another russian we've got lapikov so when he was a super he was worse like compared to the best but he was better in training like his training lifts as a super were freaky right didn't he did, he like the Double 210. Didn't he do like 180 by 5 in the snatch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 180 for 5, <laughs> uh, 210 double from the floor, which is ridiculous. So I'm going to put him above, um, I'm going to put him above Ribikov, of course. A, so a, a group. group? Yes. And hey, we might have yeah, to move, group. we might have to move him down, Ribikov down. It's very ridiculous. If, when you look at it like that, if people think we're being objective, to put Ribikov below. But you know what? We met in the middle. Okay, uh, next we've got Jared Fleming. I love the guy. Yeah, very funny. Had him yeah. on the podcast before. And, and, and freaky quads. Just I, like leg strength of the gods. Every meet, I, I, I just talked to him. I was in Albuquerque. Every meet I go to, we, we have a nice chat. Mm. Um, you know, but I feel like he's got a BB group. Yeah, but I, again, you know. a massive inspiration for me. This was when weightlifting for me was like you know just budding in my oh, brain right. and so he was a guy that i really really looked up to he hanged 175 i remember when he did that i was like what like i'd never seen a u.s lift to do anything like that before when he hangs yeah. 75 back mm -hmm. in the usa it's freaky I remember okay we've got the champ next john uh, also it was ian <clears throat> i think it was ian wilson who said that we need to do jared fleming so clearly ian wanted to know where we ranked him uh we should get ian on the next one actually see where he ranks look he's probably goated to be honest john <laughs> is can literally be all five of them. John can be sus, B group or goated, but he can't be elite or A group. Right. You like he like no one has ever gotten more people into weightlifting than John. So I, that puts him goated, but he's also sus cuz he's just hilarious. Cuz yeah, I can, I can't fathom putting him in the B group. I feel like that's disrespectful. If we're going to put him anywhere, I'm I'm going goated, no question. Yeah. Yeah, goated. Okay, next we've got uh, Rustami. I think Rustami's got a good shout for being sus. Yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. Put him <laughs> if, put him in there. If his career ended in 2017, maybe 16 would be best because that was when he's right at the top. But if it ended then, he'd be elite. He'd definitely be elite, and he'd be up next to Deng Wei. He'd be more imagine, than Kaya from Malagov, but he's I, sus. Imagine not going to the Olympics because you just didn't do your math right. Yeah, 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 seriously. So next we have Kyriakos Grizzly. And yeah, I, go I'd to. like to add, <clears throat> so I've done one video on him where I didn't know who he was. And the amount of like hate I got on that video from people <laughs> who didn't know where everything else was extreme. And I kind of loved it. And so yeah. part of me wants to sort of relish in that and go for like sus or like better yet B group just because people will skip to that. Oh, part just to And be like, piss. wait, why is he B group? Like what, what's going on then? Just think that we actually appraised his lifting. Yeah, but you what, know what, what I mean. So if we're very serious, we're like, yeah, he's just like a big, fat dude who like muscle snatches right. like one thirty and stuff. It's really weird. People got angry because like I didn't know that he was like a weightlifter back in the day, and they were like, you know, he's way stronger than you. Like, of course, he's stronger than me. Like I don't doubt that. <laughs> you know. Oh well, but if they can okay, we sell him? No. no, that's against that's against the law of man. Should we? Do you should understand we some jimmies and just he's a, he is. I don't know. 
he's not a demigod, but he's and he's. Not, he, I would say he's a demigod. So it's like you know, if you if you want to please the gods, like you put him where he deserves to be, and that's goaded. Like, look, it's a debate to put him anywhere else. Okay, but it's okay for me. It's ninety percent got to be goaded. Okay, Kwosung Chun. I mean, she's got to be elite. She's got to be elite. Yeah, but I'm gonna say on the worse cusp. than Deng, but better than Akayev. I think it's a, it's a snatch. Like, well, you know, Deng's a mid one forty clean and uh, no, Deng's like around one fifty. Quo did forty six, but the problem is Deng's got like the one sixteen, one seventeen snatch. Quo's down below. So obviously there's a weight class difference, but yeah, there's just a yeah. bit of a gap there. So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna start having a lot of people in the elite group, and then we're gonna have to bump people down. I'm already. I know that you've got this thing for Malakov, but I'm already eyeing him up to slip him down a level. And and we'd have to take a Kaev down, dude. No. You think a Kaev hangs with those? Play the girls? video. Play the f video of him Alex, shooting off an. Play the video. Play of him shooting off an AK-47 in Russia. Laohui. Elite for sure. And if for you sure, have, but there's a case for goated. Highest yeah. Sinclair Chinese weightlifter ever. Right, so let's put him in goaded, because you're right. That's the highest Sinclair of Chinese weightlifter ever. That's ridiculous. Yeah, Liao Hui's, you know, got the highest Sinclair. I would put Lu goaded and Liao Hui elite. Just because Lu's done done it more frequently. And he's more, con you know what I mean? I feel like his his story is just better. Or maybe That's true. Go That's true. It's the same know. way people love Piro so much. What does he rank yeah. on on um, Sinclair? Can't be bad. He's like high. In, in the forties. Yeah. Let's go elite and then elite for now. Yes, and then now we have to bump Adam Malagov down. Okay. Next we got Laura Donatoma. Now she is a world champion, twenty seventeen, but that yeah. was also the year the Chinese were there. And she snatched one fifteen in training like a month ago, right? Yeah, that's Something. huge. I would go A group. I certainly don't think she's elite. No, like, definitely obviously not. Obviously, she elite. is an elite lifter, but she's not. But not in, the, not, not in this quote. elite. No, she's not a Lao, but she's not a B. She's not a Jared Fleming yeah. or even a Ribakov. She's yeah. an A. So fine, A group. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. So then Lou is going to be goaded. Lou's going to be goaded. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put him like next to Alexei. Alexei. But if we look we've at got the our shape totally wrong, it should be like a pyramid. <laughs> but we've got everyone crammed into goaded. Yeah, we um, need we need people to tell us what like. What they want next time? What? How do they want us to do this? Okay, Ma difficult. Mart same is B group. I'd say B group. I'm I'm putting him after Jared too. Really? Yeah. So now we're going not based on actual level. This is just your love of him. Yeah. Uh, okay, Mark Henry. I mean, he's B group. He's got to be B group. He could yeah, be sus. Yeah. He could be sus just because he was like I claimed know. to be the strongest man of all time or in the world. He's obviously like a freaky strength athlete, like. You know, for how strong he was, and he got in WWE, and then, you know, B. Yeah. Okay, now your favorite. Let's we got Mark <laughs> Ripper, starting strength. I don't know why. Well, I say I don't know why someone chose him. Obviously, I know why. It's because they knew I was doing this with you. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Mark's got to go go to the sus. <laughs> he called you out. Like I woke I know, up and I had messages I know, from Mike. Like, still, Owen, I know it. Alex, I had messages from everyone. I know, and I still, I still want to put him in goaded because <laughs> at this point, it's an aesthetic thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's where he's going. Starting strength. Right. <laughs> that's where he's going. Look at that fucking group, dude. <laughs> Look at that. We need one of those group. memes that's like, guys only want one thing, and it's. <laughs> Max Lang, uh, have you met Max in person? Yeah, very nice guy. I tell you what, he's so much more in person than you think. Like, obviously he is, because just naturally you're like, okay, he's a 73. But like, when you actually see him, he's like, he's so small and like, yeah, you should, yeah, it's crazy. I've, I've seen him, I've seen him in person. You know what? Yeah, he jerked 214, which is just absurd. But the reality of it is, he's a B group. Um, okay, next we have Meng Supeng. Isn't it also pronounced Mung? Yeah, it is actually is Mung, and it's actually Dung for Dung Wei. I should have I should have got that right. Um, yeah, she is elite. If Lee was there, which she's not, Lee has a. I would put Lee is is elite as well. Right, but are they're not on the same level? Well, Meng Su Ping has lifted more in the past. It's probably, well, at least in the cleaner jerk, she's out cleaner jerk Lee by the way. What about Sinclair just, or total? Or I don't know. I don't know about those. 
So what do you, you think? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You might be right because she's at you know she's only got one like major win under her belt. So she's got to go A group. Yeah, in front of Lord Anatoma. Okay, we got our boy Mesosona, Miso Mesosona. Love <laughs> the guy, you know. Spent a lot of time with him, hung out with him. Great guy, but I think he's A group. Yes. Yeah, he is Olympic champion. He's not yet won a world championships. And, like, I think he could become elite one day. You know, if we do this again in a quad, maybe he's elite. But for now, I'm going to go A group. Yep. Uh, Artem Mark is off. Uh, 2015 world champion. One of I was the best there. movers you'll ever see. One I was of the most there. solid clean and jerk techniques. You were there, yeah, of course. Yeah. Houston. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the most spectacular wins ever. You know, if, if, we're, if we're keeping the quality of elite to, like, the Lao Huis and the Dung Ways of the world, he has to go A group. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and Akaev's only there because of the AK and because of the training lifts. And I will yeah. die by that. Okay, next we have Pablo Lara. I don't know if you know Pablo yes, Lara. Pa- he's in the uh, great yeah. weightlifters. He's, he's got the he's got the 190 power clean. The power clean video. That's yeah. we are, what, what I know him from is the power clean video. He's the Olympic champion in '96. Cuba, uh, I right? Think he, Cuba. Yeah, clean and jerked what 208, which I think was a world record at the time. Oh, sorry, 207.5. Might have been 208 world record. Three-time world champion and Olympic champion. Oh yeah! No one else in that A group has anywhere near those credentials. Yep. That's Put a, him that's in elite. elite. Yeah, that has to be elite. And you know what? I'm really sorry, but he's going ahead of Akayev. That's fine. And Kazarenko is going goated, surely. Yeah, hundred percent. You want him ahead of Lou? No, I want him <laughs> ahead of Alexiev. You want him behind Grizzly? <laughs> Just there for some reason. So people who skip have no idea, no reason why, like what, what, why we determined him to go in between these two. <laughs> Pesarenko is a three-time world champ, four-time European champ. Didn't win an Olympic, sir. And he also has a mustache. You know, it's like our hands yeah. are tied with these things. Right, right. And there's also that amazing video of him where he he does like a 190 snatch and he sits down. And sips on some vodka and then picks up a lit cigarette from before the set and just carries on smoking. Yeah, again, again, our hands are tied. Okay, my boy Robu Stanky Leg Marin. Do you know Robu? Oh my god. The stankiest of legs. That dude is so goddamn sus. That is, that guy, (laughs) get him, put him in sus. He needs like an operation on his legs or something, bro. Those lifts are insane. Is that Kolesky? Okay. Yeah, Simon Kolesky. Okay. So, for me, Simon's... Yeah, he's not goated, but he's elite. He beat Kaki. Yeah. You know what I mean? As like, a child. As Kaki, a f***ing child, he did. At, like, 18 in yeah. 1988. He clean and jerked 235 at weighing, like, yeah. 100. Yeah, just unbelievable. Uh, okay, Tatiana. Oh. F- She's goated. Yes. She's the greatest female weightlifter ever by Sinclair, by basically everything. I'm going to put her, like, there. I agree. I don't know why, objectively, I'd put her behind Lou instead of a front, but I just have... It's a good you feeling. Know, an you got to run with those like, feelings. you got to yeah. go with those feelings. Okay, what, so what, who's the this? The next one, this is Victor Sots, who, oh. who was, you know, requested yeah. in, in the uh, on the Patreon. So we're going to have to go with him. So for people who don't know, and you might not know this, actually. It yeah, is in the Sots. book, but yeah. he... Um, no, know obviously this. you know him, but, like... He, uh, he had the highest force plate production of any Soviet athlete, not even weightlifter, which is kind of crazy. And he, he, he salts pressed, and again, if you're new to weightlifting, it's basically a strict press in the bottom of a squat. He salts pressed 160, which is like, you know, Ridiculous. just doesn't make any sense. No. Look, I, I, I could put him at sus because everyone hates uh, salts presses. Yeah. And you know what else? Well, he's a two-time world champ. That's it. I say that's it, but like that's it. And the sus is looking a little bit sus right now, to be frank. Yeah, and like it's a bit empty. You know, he's you know, he's double bouncing his sots press to get hundred and sixty. <laughs> he only won two world champs. He's like, How am I gonna get remembered? So we invented a movement. That no and then one he likes. cheated at the movement. Yeah. That no one likes just so his name could live on. And no yep. one likes it. You know, we've mm-hmm. got some power lifters in there, some strong men. Bodybuilders bodybuilders yeah just literally just rank everybody for no good because then we can have like jay cutler next to like mark ripito right who's for some reason next to she's a young all 
right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Zach and I are definitely going to do this again, so let us know what you want us to do for the next time. Um, Zachary, my favorite, uh, my favorite Zachary in the world, uh, where would you like us to send people? Apparently, uh, you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, just go to my YouTube channel, guys. Yeah. That's it. And, That's uh, it. Wow. I love you so much, and I care about you. All right, cheers, guys. See you in a bit. <laughs>